Welcome back to the Christopher Moore House, trying to make sure families don't let COVID-19 stop them from having a happy Easter this year. Yeah, they're hosting an Easter basket giveaway and making sure families in need in the Hallville community have food to eat. Our Randall Newsom joins us again with more. Hey guys, there's a lot of things going on in the community, but this is kind of a two joint venture. We have the Easter basket giveaway outside, and we have the food resource pickup inside. I'm here joined with Latoya Pitts, CEO of the Crystal Moore House. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you for asking. Good, good, good. Okay, so you guys have been doing this food resource pickup kind of since the pandemic got started. Going. Absolutely. Um, why did you guys feel the need to make that happen? Um, so Crystal Moore House is a pillar of the community. We've been in the community since 1905, so um, over 110 years. Um, and so these are things that we do typically on a regular basis, but with the pandemic, it just became heightened. Right. Um, so in the summertime, we make sure that our students are able to eat. Um, but then, of course, when this happened, um, there was a lack of resources at the grocery store. Our families couldn't get to the grocery stores. And so we just felt the need to kind of fill that gap. And so here we are. You've got different community organizations banding together to kind of help with this effort. Kind of tell me how that kind of came about. Okay, so um, UWCI is the, the group of community centers. There's 12 of us, um, and we always talk. So we meet once a month um, to make sure that all of the community centers as a whole are kind of coming together and making sure that the city is taken care of. Um, so our relationship was already there. Um, places like United Way have always supported us. Um, Lily Endowment, Lily Foundation, Ida Mason Polium. So those organizations have always supported us. They've, they've been our financial backing from, you know, the beginning of time. And so when this happened, of course, they knew the community centers were the quickest access to get out a mass amount of resources to a mass amount of people. And so we just kind of stepped up and did what we typically do as community centers. And it's not just food that you guys are serving here. What else do you guys have in store? So we have a baby pantry. Um, and so what that is, is we're serving families that have infants age 0 to 24. If you need diapers, if you need pull-ups, if you need wipes, if you need formula, those things are resources that we have access to as well. So those things you do need to call 317-635-7211 and just tell them you need access to the baby pantry. For a lot of people in the community, life has kind of been flipped upside down, of course, because of the pandemic. But um, what message do you want this to send to them? Um, teamwork. Together, everyone accomplishes more. So you see the community centers banding together. You see neighborhoods banding together. Um, you see people being nicer than they've ever been before. And so if we just keep that trend up, together we will get through it. So everybody just working together, remaining calm, following instructions, staying safe, staying home, um, and coming out only when it's absolutely necessary. I think, you know, we'll make it. Awesome. And then what do the people have to do to sign up um, to get one of these boxes if they haven't heard about this yet? If you haven't heard about it, any of the community centers, um, we all pass out food. Mondays and Wednesdays is the West Side, which is Crystal Moore House from 12 to 3. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can go to Hawthorne. So I'm trying to make sure West Side for sure is taken care of. So you don't have to sign up. Just come, get in line, and we will bring the food boxes out to your car. Awesome, guys. All right. You can come get a box here if you have a family in need. Mondays and Wednesdays here on the West Side. Guys, at the Crystal Moore House, a lot of things going on in the community. And a reminder, we are in this together.